Adventures. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to customize your very own werewolf costume. The first thing that you're going to need is this awesome werewolf mask. This is the number one mask that I use for most of my videos. I love it. Next thing you're going to need is these werewolf gloves. Make sure the hair always matches the mask. Then you're going to need a button down flannel shirt, long sleeve, a pair of old blue jeans that you don't wear anymore. These werewolf feet that go over your shoes, a good pair of scissors. This is called a neck gaiter and I'll explain to you what that is later on. Werewolf legs and a werewolf chest piece with the arms. All right, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the sleeves off of this long sleeve flannel shirt. Again, make sure you have a shirt that you don't care about. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I always like to just cut the sleeves completely off. All right, now that we got both sleeves off of the flannel shirt, what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the blue jeans. All right, now when you got your blue jeans cut, is we want to give this more of a tethered look. And what I like to do is just basically cut up into the blue jeans. Now, once we get done cutting the jeans and you have that tethered ripped look, what you're gonna do, if you have them, werewolf legs. And I will tell you exactly the uh, website I went on to is zagonistudios.com, I believe it is. I'm going to put the link in the description below to get these. They are awesome, but what they'll do is they'll give your werewolf a more realistic look, a bigger look, a tougher look. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the blue jeans over the werewolf legs because it's easier to do that rather than put the werewolf legs on and then put the blue jeans on because it's really tight. Alright, so this costume is already looking pretty sick. Here's the legs right here with the blue jeans over it. All right, next step is you're gonna need to put on the werewolf sleeves and chest piece. Basically, it's a werewolf shirt. All right, so now I'm putting on the flannel shirt over this. It can definitely be kind of difficult. You may need some help doing it because this is tight. Definitely wanna leave the chest hairs out. Okay, so this next thing is extremely important to me. If I'm putting a costume on, the last thing you want to do is see any type of human skin because it kind of takes away the realistic side of your costume. It just doesn't look good. So what I like to do is I get these, they're called net gaiters. You just slip them over your face, just like this. And what they do is they cover up your neck. Sometimes I like to put them over my mouth. And when you do that, it actually makes the mask fit better when you slip it over. But that way, when you do open your mouth in the costume, this will cover up your mouth. And see now, you can't even see my mouth on the inside. Catch me howling at the moon